According to NASA, they're like great geophysical light bulb. Some used to believe they were the result of volcanic eruptions, like the eruption of Krakatoa in 1883, which came just two years before their first recorded sighting, and others have suggested they may even be linked to climate change with their appearance following hot on the heels of the Industrial Revolution. I'm talking about the beautiful yet mysterious noctilucent clouds. Their name gives a clue to their nature, which translated literally means night shining clouds. Typically they're a summer phenomenon, and in my experience they seem to be more prominent during the months of June and July. To identify them, you just need to look out for strange bluey white wispy clouds that can be sometimes a bit jagged in appearance, usually just after sunset in the evening or before sunrise in the early morning. The clouds are thought to be made of ice crystals high in the atmosphere and at altitudes of at least 80 kilometres, they're way up in the mesosphere, literally on the edge of space. Now for any cloud to form, there must be water vapour and tiny microscopic particles for the vapour to condense around in a process known as nucleation. But water vapour at that height is likely to be pretty rare as it's said to be a million times drier than the Sahara Desert. But despite the dryness at these altitudes, it's possible that convective activity could carry water vapour high into the atmosphere, but it's the origin of the tiny particles which remains a mystery. Perhaps they are linked in some way to volcanic eruptions, but that now seems pretty unlikely. It's more probable that they come from microscopic particles from meteors, which litter our upper atmosphere with space dust. Regardless of how they form though, we can be sure that year after year, at this time of year, they will honour us with some fantastic displays. And if your latitude is 40 degrees or more, then you should be able to see noctilucent clouds any time now. And the best bit is that they're easy to find and don't require any telescopes or binoculars. Just look northwest, that's in the direction of the setting sun about 30 or 60 minutes after sunset, or in the northeast before sunrise. Well, it's getting dark here now, and for a change, it's actually clear. So I'm off to see if I can see them. And remember, wrap up warm, get yourself outside after sunset and see if you can spot the noctilucent clouds for yourself.